Anything else? No, that's it, thank you. All right, 2330. It's so cool that on the drive throughs hit, when you order, it comes up on the screen, a picture of it, and exactly what you've ordered, so you know whether they've gotten it right or not. Clever. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another day at Disney today. Um, we had a day off yesterday, and uh, today we're going to Animal Kingdom, and then, because we've got park hopper tickets by our one of our viewers, Doug. So thanks again, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. We are gonna head after Animal Kingdom. We're gonna go to Hollywood Studios, and we're gonna watch the fireworks there for this evening. So we've started the day later. It's nearly 12 noon, because we learned from the other day, didn't we, that we ran out of energy by 4 p.m. Yeah, we were fatigued. We were fatigued. So, we're taking it slow. We've just stopped at Starbucks. And I got, the same as I got the other day, iced coconut latte. Gross. But I got, Keegan doesn't like the taste of it. And, um, but I got two pumps of sugar-free vanilla syrup in it. But I'm not sure if that's made it better or worse. I don't, I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it. I mean, the kids have got chocolate frappuccinos, which are so good, but I just couldn't bring myself to order one, sadly. But, um, anyway, another day. we've been for a run this morning. Yeah, we've been for a run. We been went to, to the gym. gym. Uh, we went to the gym at the clubhouse. Did a bit of weights. Keegan went on the bike. Um, we did have pizza last night, though. Yeah, we did. We had Papa John's. I didn't film any of that. We just had a chilled evening last night. And then another early night. I got so tired. I got so bloated after that Papa John's. I don't think Papa John's agrees with me. And I do not agree with it. I agree with Papa John's. Do you? You love Papa John's. Papa Jean. That cheese pizza was good. Yeah, we got the cheesy Alfredo one and it was so good. No, I didn't, really. I didn't like the meat one. I liked it, it was great. Yeah, but you like out of date Reese's. <laughs> I actually didn't like them. No, good, yeah. <laughs> Only once we told you they were out of date. <laughs> yeah. You were like, they taste fine until we said they were out of date. Keegan's wearing his new trainers he got the other day and his new socks. I've got my everybody, new socks on, but every, old trainers. Everybody should have a pair of Adidas Superstars in their wardrobe. Very nice. I've only been in once before, and I can't really remember much except for the safari where you got to see real animals. But already, as I'm coming back, I'm starting to remember, and I'm like, I think this is one of my favorite Disney parks, if not my favorite, so. Yeah, we've actually booked in. We bought the Genie Plus again for today. We've already got a booking which you can turn up to right now in the next hour and now it's it the is, Everest. It is one. a bit of a con because if you want to use the Genie Plus for Avatar or the Star Wars ride, you've got to pay You've got to pay extra. The Star Wars ride, $22 per person. Yeah, each for that one ride. So yeah, it is it's so very expensive and we're resigned to the fact that spending the day at Disney is very expensive. Luckily, as I said, Doug gave us these tickets so we haven't had to pay for them, but they're so expensive. Food at Disney, expensive. Everything's expensive, especially when you have kids. I mean, not that you're my kid, but... <laughs> no. I mean, it'd be a very big tree if it was real. I was like, oh, there's an ostrich, and they were like, no, it's Kevin from Up. Yeah, Kevin's a girl, yeah. Is Kevin a girl? We've arrived at our first ride. This is the, now I'm here, I recognize, like, because the queue goes through all this, like, Himalayan-esque set, which is very cool. Alright, we're on. That took a total of like two minutes. I think it's definitely worth a genie plus. But here we are, me and Taylor. Keegan and Fletcher back there. Let's go.
good. Yeah. It was fun. When, when you, yeah, there's a bit where you go, you go because you come down a different way, then you go up. Fletcher, went, where are we? <laughs> it was good. It started off quite tame, and then it got really. Like, he, I feel he a bit didn't sick. See now. Bigfoot at the end. That made us jump, didn't it, Taylor? Yeah. Seeing Bigfoot, we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excited for this one, aren't you, Joe? Yeah, this is the best ride at Animal Kingdom. Is it even a ride? I don't know. Don't know if you'd call it that. Uh, it's literally a safari. I really want to see a giraffe because giraffes are my favourite. I really want to see a hippo because they're my new obsession because basically Instagram has shown me loads of videos of hippos and baby hippos. I just love them. <gasps> Kiboko! Yeah, Duma. Mbuni. I do like ostriches as well. I find ostriches hilarious. They're like giant chickens. Keep a tight grip of anything in your hands. If you drop something off the second tallest antelopes in Africa. We are stopped up ahead, so we're gonna hang out right here for a minute. Freezing. It's a deep purplish gray in color, and that dark color protects it from the sun because the giraffes spend most of their day eating. They're right the leaving the vast grasslands behind. Away. We're gonna head into elephant country next. Yeah. Two minutes at a time. See if we can, can find an African <laughs> elephant out here. We're I also can't. in. Now, African elephant, the males, they're gonna be the largest land mammal coming in. It's gray and fluffy. And that didn't turn to white, which turns to pink as they age and mature from the yeah. Their full weight, the male, about 2,000 pounds. We've got a young giraffe right here. This is a two-year-old giraffe that you're seeing. Oh. 15 to 20 hours of their day is spent doing that. They're most active in the overnight hours. About seven feet tall. 40 miles per hour. Well, the safari was really good. We've got to see all the animals we wanted to see. Except hippos, we only saw one underwater. Um, we've just stopped for lunch now, so Fletcher's having a pretzel, Taylor and I are having a salad, and Keegan isn't having anything. Nil by mouth. We want to cool down a bit, so we've booked a lightning lane for the Rumba Rapids, or whatever they're called. And I've worn something that luckily dries nice and easy. Here we are, we're on all aboard, ready to go down the rapids. We're, who's going to get wettest? That's what I want to know. Hopefully you. I don't know, I think Taylor's going to get wet in her jean shorts. Chafage. I've worn all like dryable stuff. <laughs> Oh no! How wet are you, Keegan? I'm soaked. Oh! I'm so cold. <laughs> oh dear! Whoa. Well, I don't know if you can hear this because we got thoroughly wet on that ride. I think some water went in my camera. So, um, but anyway, we're in Pandora now. We're just heading onto the Flight of Avatar ride, and then I think. But it's about an hour and 10 minutes and you can't get the fast track for that. So yeah, we're gonna be waiting in the queue. This will probably be our last Maybe ride here. Down. There's Pandora. This will probably be our last ride here and then we're gonna drive to Hollywood Studios and spend the rest of the evening there. Me and Keegan went to watch the latest Avatar a few, maybe a month or so ago. I really enjoyed it. I know lots of people did not like it, but I liked it probably more than the first film. But that seems to be the way with me, like Lord of the Rings. I liked Lord of the Rings, but I preferred The Hobbit. And most Lord of the Rings fans are like, how? The Hobbit's not as good, but I just really liked it. Right guys, we're just leaving Animal Kingdom. We actually were in the wrong queue for the Avatar thing. And luckily I checked my phone and there was some Lightning Lane available options, but it was like $22 each or something like that. So we paid for it because it was there and then. So we were like, we got out the queue and it was then that we realized we were in the wrong queue anyway. So we would have been livid if we'd spent 75 yeah, minutes we were, in the wrong we queue. We were queuing for like a really tame river pub. Yeah, ridiculous. But the Avatar one was so good. It was really fun. Um, and then I wanted a, a hippo cuddly toy. Keegan treated me to it because I got us the lightning lane. So Keegan was like, I'll get you the hippo. Thank you. Whoa. Welcome to Hollywood. This is cool, I've never been to this one before. I think we've been to Hollywood Studios in Disneyland Paris, but I went when I was about seven years old, so I don't have much of a memory of it. Um, but this is so cool, it looks like old Hollywood. I love it.
So our first booking, well, it's our, actually our last booking of the Genie Plus because you get three rides. We did two of the rides at, um, Animal, well, we did four or five rides in total, but two of the Genie Plus at Animal Kingdom, one here. So we're doing Toy Story, which Keegan's done before. And I think you're just, you're riding around and you're, you're all shooting at things and whoever gets the most points wins, basically. It's going to be me, I'm going to say. Whoa. Nearly fell down the stairs. But yeah, so that'll be fun. We're gonna do that. Then we made a last minute dining reservation at Hollywood and Vine. So we're gonna have dinner there. And then we're also, we might watch one of the shows and then watch the fireworks show and then home. But everyone's already knackered. So we'll see if we last to the fireworks. Into the Star Wars section, which Keegan loves. But actually, since being forced to watch The Mandalorian, I actually quite enjoy this. I haven't enjoyed any of the Star Wars films, never been a Star Wars fan at all, until watching season two of Mandalorian. I didn't even watch season one, but really season enjoyed three, it. Yeah. Season three, season three of Mandalorian. So I need to go back and watch the first two. Um, but this is quite cool. It's uh, been raining for the last hour. We've had dinner and we were waiting. We refused to buy ponchos, they're too expensive. And then we were like, well, let's not wait anymore. Let's just get wet. So second Disney park, well, fourth Disney park. Um, and it's rained, Never mind. I mean, this set is so good. And as I said, I'm not even like necessarily a Star Wars fan, although I did like Mandalorian, but I'm not even a fan. And like, even I can admire this set, it's incredible. But the last ride we just did, I started to feel sick, and it's coming towards the end of the day, we've had dinner, and I'm like, my stomach is too weak to handle any more spinny rides. This is the Millennium Falcon. Thank you. It's cool, isn't it? Just kidding. Oh, we're in the ship. And that is the end of the vlog guys. I'm actually not in Florida despite being topless and not in my house. I'm actually in Marbella in Spain and I've just been in a little cafe editing this vlog and I realized that there wasn't an outro. From this point onwards, this was about day five of our trip, the vlogging got very sporadic. So I, w I had good intentions. I even at one stage was like, I'm gonna get 14 vlogs out of this and I'm gonna vlog every day. That did not happen. It's going downhill from here. So from here on out, I think the Florida vlogs are gonna be almost like, not weekly vlogs, but a few days in a row. So bear with me as I cobble those together and see what I've got. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I post videos every single week. If you'd like exclusive members only content, then consider becoming a member. It's as little as $3.99 a month for the bonus members videos, which is less than a large coffee at Starbucks. So it's worth it. You get all that content. So yeah, join, join my membership club if you would like some more videos. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.